Now he's setting the bike up, sort of starting to get ready. It's Friday today, we go Monday. Put my sheepskin on. It's on top of that pad I've got underneath, so if that doesn't make the ass comfortable enough, then tough shit. And I hooked up the GoPro and tested it to make sure the cord reaches, and it does. And the outlet, I think then, the outlet works fine. I got it fixed when I went for a service last Monday. It turned out it was blowing fuses because I fucked up when I put the wiring harness for the trailer. It had two spare wires on that harness, and when I wrapped them up, I didn't make sure that the plastic was pushed over the ends, and when I wrapped them, they were touching and blowing the fuse, which meant I had no cigarette lighters or no 12 volt outlets and no heated grips. And now I have it all, so. It's fixed. I'm just checking the helmet out. I've got part of my stuff packed. I'm just going to go through the saddlebags now. The, sorry, the panniers, they're not bags. And just check everything in there to make sure everything's kosher. Okay, right hand side pannier. That's where I carry my wet weather gear. Jacket, pants. I might actually might to save some weight leave that jacket out because my new riding jacket is waterproof. And that little cover in the middle is what I use to throw over the front of the bike at night time to keep the frost or whatever off the gauges and everything. Um, here are all my spare gloves. And I brought some of these Harley Davidson short gloves. They're bloody comfortable and they're warm. And they bloody want to be too for $130. And me fingerless ones, they're my favourite ones. But And on the other side, got my tool kit. Me air compressor, first aid kit, snake bite kit, and more gloves, more fingerless gloves, and then they're heated gloves, but I had those with the other bike, I probably won't need them for this one. Um, maybe in the middle of winter here, it'd be good to have the heated grips on the bike because they warm the inside of your hands and the heaters and these things are on the outside. Um, they last eight hours, so they're pretty good. So that's what we'll end in the top. In here be mostly put water and carry ex extra water, some snacks. I'm going to see if I can fit my laptop in here, me 5 watt UHF. So out in clear air, it's supposed to have a range of up between 15 and 20 kilometres, so I think that'll keep us out of strife if we have any. So that's that gets that rides in there with everything else, so I'll have a little bit of room in the back here. So that'll be just to carry mostly consumables and shit like that. Maybe my electronic stuff, my, all my chargers and my cables and shit for the cameras and so get this all sorted and packed back in. And uh, might put some shoes in one of these panniers, some spare shoes. or well, some some comfortable shoes so I don't have to wear my riding shoes riding boots around. And um Whatever else I need to throw in here. But I've got my bag pretty much packed and weighed. It weighs about seven and a half kilos, or it will by the time I, I throw a, a track top in there that I've, that's got to be washed. And my undies, be lucky if it's seven and a half kilos. So I'm going to weigh everything else up as I load the trailer. So I've got a, just a rough idea of what I'm carrying. Because I know it works very comfortably with 40 kilos in the trailer. It pulls out no problems and it feels nice and comfortable. Um, I doubt that I'll be carrying even that, so we'll see what happens as I load it. I'll um, I'll take some photos of the scales as I load everything. So there we go. Getting keen now, getting nervous, but it should be good. Okay, now I'll try this a second time. I already did it once and fucked it up, so I'll go and get the tripod. It's going to be used in front of the whole bloody camera and hand. It was all over the shop. Um, I just thought I'd come out the cave, do a quick video before we go away. I know Bruce has done something similar and he's used to doing this. I'm not used to videoing myself um, and I hate listening to my own voice as it is. Um, but I thought I'd just do a bit of a video about the trip. And we go Monday morning, so we've got about two and a half days to go. So um, getting close, I'm getting excited. I've got most of the stuff ready. 
I've just got to pack that tomorrow. I'm going to wash the bike and the trailer, park it up and have it ready in the carport. Sunday, then I'll finish packing it. I'm already done a time lapse of packing it because that was a dummy run, so I, I won't need to redo that. But I might be able to get the thing done so I can um, get the video up before we go, just as a pre trip video. Then I can start from you know, day one, day two, blah, blah, blah. Um, those will be done more at the end. I might post you know, little videos from my phone or something like that. Um, we're taking the laptop, and so I can get the videos off off the video camera here and the GoPro. So I'm going to do some time lapse GoPros. Um, not all the time because the, you know, like you can only be excited so much by long, straight, flat roads. So um, I'll just do maybe a little bit each day right now and then add that to it. And then what we do when we stop during the day, look around, stuff like that. So, but I'm going to do all that when I get home That'll, because that's going to take a long time to edit. It's going to be a lot of editing in that. So I'll do that when I get home. Um, and I should have 16 parts, so I'm going to have it all on the laptop. Each day I'm going to download the videos that I take, put them into a folder, so I can edit one folder at a time. And, um, and do day one to day 16, so it's um, it's good. We've added a couple extra days. Um, we were going to originally come home from uh, Port Augusta to Broken Hill. Oh, no, Broken Hill, sorry, Port Augusta to Cobar. Cobar at home, so home from there in two days, but Bruce managed to get a little bit extra time off. So we thought, why not add a couple of extra days, get out to Adelaide. Never been to Adelaide. I've been to Perth, I've been to Melbourne, I've been to Brisbane, I just haven't been to Adelaide. So this trip will make it Darwin and Adelaide. So I've been to every capital city then. Um, so we thought, we'll go to Adelaide, get into Harndorf, have a look around the wineries there, have some lunch around there and um, go to Adelaide for the night. Because it's only three, less than three hour uh, ride from Port Augusta, Adelaide. So we've got all day. So if we leave eight o'clock in the morning, we'll be down there before lunch. So we'll go out to Harndorf, have some lunch, look around, back to the motel. Then from there, the next day, it's three, 500 kilometer steps. So 500, about 550 k's from Adelaide to Broken Hill. About 520 something, I think, I can't remember now. But, and then from Cobar to Scone, it's about 537k, something like that. So we have three 500 day hops. So by then, the time we reach those, we should be well and truly used to it. We should be um, put quite easy. I don't know, I mean, each day could get a little bit harder. You know, as your, as your ass starts to hang out. Um, you know, you see how we travel anyway. But um, I'm really keen, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm nervous. Um, you know, my, well, my guys that know me know that I suffer from PTSD. So anxiety is an everyday part of my life. And it's just something that happens. I get PTSD just going into town. So, um, you know, I, I sort of threw some shit on the bike there today. Check your GoPro, as you'll see in the video. Um, and me spares and then you know, all, all me, me supplies and lighten up the load. I took out my wet weather jacket because the new jacket, I bought a new Oxford jacket. It's quite warm and it's waterproof, it's starting waterproof. So I don't need two waterproof jackets, so I took that out to save a little bit of weight. Packed me bags, I packed most of the stuff. All we do is pack me undies and, and some socks and, and that's it, be ready to go. So when I pack the trailer, which I'll be doing Sunday morning, um, I was going to weigh everything, so I'll have a total weight for what I'm carrying in that trailer. Um, I tested it, we tested it at did about 400 k's and I had 40 kilos of sandbags in it, so I had two 20 kilo bags of sand and it rode fine. Um, the only problem I had with it, the bags slid forward from the trailer, so just put a little bit extra weight in the tailor. It didn't matter, it's not, still not overloaded, but, um, but it, it handled fine, carried it fine, pulled it fine, no dramas. This time when I put everything in there, I'll be able to centralise it all over the axle better and strap it down so it doesn't move. So, and I don't think I'll be even carrying 40 kilos. I weighed my bag with all my clothes in it and fully loaded it should be about seven and a half kilos. 
So everything else has got to go in there. Weighs two thirds of fuck all. The tent weighs, I think, half a kilo. The mattress weighs, or the self inflating mattress weighs half a kilo. The, the sleeping bag, big thick sleeping bag, weighs about a kilo. But I, I think I'm going to get rid of that and take one of the smaller ones. I don't think I'm going to need a, a, a real thick minus five sleeping bag, so I'll take a smaller sleeping bag. Um, and a couple of little things that are going to go in, in the trailer as well. So I, I doubt that it's, you know, we're lucky if I'm carrying 20, 30 kilos. 20 kilos. Um, maybe a bit more once I add water. Uh, decided I've got 15 kilos of cherries there. I'm going to take uh, 10 kilos for fuel. We had a look at the other um, Google Maps. There's plenty of servos where look. Um, I think the longest duration we've got between roadhouses is about 280, 300 kilo, kilos, kilometers. Um, so I'm only going to fill one. I'm going to fill 10 kilo one up with fuel and a five litre one. 10 kilo. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm going to fill the 10 litre one up with fuel and five litre one up with fresh water. So I'm going to fill the fresh water one up before I go. But the fuel, I'm not going to, we're not going to worry about till we get to Broken Hill. Uh, we're going to really need it before Broken Hill. So there's plenty of stops there. The only time I'm going to be really worried is the long run. It's a 900 plus K day, so Broken Hill long reach is 970 kilometres. So in case there's, there's roadhouses, we work at, there's enough roadhouses to, to get well within the range of our bikes. But you just don't know. You don't know if something's closed or something's wrong or they've got run out of fucking fuel. So, you know, we take a little bit. Bruce is taking five litres, I'm taking ten. Um, and that should see us safe in case something's wrong. So, you know, I'll, I'll get I'll get 430 kilometres out of a tank on mine without the trailer on. So if I get, say, 380, 400 kilo, uh, kilometres, here we go with the fucking kilos again. Um, 380, 400 kilometres on a tank, then I, I should have, I should be fine, should, should be good. So, you know, it's getting there, I, I'm excited. It's taken a fair bit of organising, it's a lot more than people may realise. Every you know, time you, you've got to ring all of the bloody motels, try and book. Get fucked around by people. Um, the other day, yesterday, that I rang the, the motels. It was yesterday in Adelaide um, and Broken Hill. Um, Adelaide, I ended up hanging up on three separate hotels because they just couldn't understand you, and I couldn't understand them. Um, you know, I won't mention the race, but they, they just they kept asking me to repeat myself, and I just hung up. So it's not worth the fucking aggravation. I'm starting to get angry and I'll, I'll lose my shit. Um, you know, I'll go off my brain and so I just hung up. But I managed to get one. She still had an accent, but she could understand me. So um, I got that booked in the end. But luckily I ran Broken Hill and the lady there was lovely. She was very nice. And she spoke and understood English. <laughs> uh, that was a bonus. So Monday morning we'll be right to go. 7.30 we're out of here. It's going to be a good trip. I'm really looking forward to it. And um, 16 days of epic adventure and epic sore ass and and um, yeah. So it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. Stay tuned for all the videos. I, I will put something up each day, a little, a little something each day. But I'll be doing the the, the, the long ones, the the um, full edited trips. Um, when I get home, so you know, and I'll try and upload. I'll upload a couple each day, but I'll schedule them to release one day apart. So you know, there'll be 16 days between part one and part 16, basically. So, so yeah, stay tuned, and um, I'll talk to you real soon.